Hey guys, I'm over here with my father's new 99 Expedition. He just got this, it has 56,000 miles on it. It's amazing. And Basila was awesome enough to send him brand new LED headlights. Take a look at this guys. This Expedition has no fog lights, but they are plug and play. Now check this out. If your Expedition has a wire harness, you can activate your fog lights. All you gotta do is get yourself a fog light capable switch. Now we just swapped this switch out to a switch that had fog light capability, turned it on, plugged in the bulbs, and boom, Basla baby. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today we're putting Basla bulbs in 99 Expedition, yeah. Look how crisp that is. I love Basla and there's the halogen in comparison. I know it's daytime and you could still tell the difference. I absolutely love them. And let's see, not only were they good enough to send us headlights, they gave us fog lights too. So we got 9006 fog lights. All right guys, if you want to activate dormant fog lights in your expedition, you got to come under here and see if it has the fog light harness. If you don't have fog light harnesses or a fog light harness, then Forget it, you're done. But if you have your fog light harness, look at that crusty plug. <laughs> if you have this, there is hope. So we're just gonna bring this down. That is step one. Step two, get yourself a headlight switch capable of fog lights. See, this one has pull for fog, this one doesn't. You can't activate your fog lights until you get a switch. Now make sure you get a year appropriate switch. I believe 97 to 99 is one generation of fog light switches. And then they switched over in 2000 to 2002, a different setup entirely. So now for my year, which is a 99, all you're gonna do is you're gonna get a little pick under this switch right here, there's a little hole and you gotta pop out this switch. Let's see. There we go. Pop out the switch. Now check this out. Once you got the fog light switch in, just flip it upside down, turn it off, push it all the way in and turn them on again. Look at that. And you've just unlocked yourself your fog light switch. There we go. Look at that guys. The engineer designed this switch to open it up when the button is installed upside down. How cool is that? Pretty sweet. Now don't try this on a 2000 to 2002. You will snap the switch right off. Now that your switch is dangling, you can go ahead and pop out your red locking tabs. You go ahead and push the release button and slide these clips right off. There it is. All right, now we can go ahead and pop in the new headlight switch. <laughs> there we go. Not bad for all one-handed. There. Fog light switch is in. Now let's see. Pull for fog. There we go. We should have this illuminated. Now we can put in our bulbs. All right. We got this little crusty connector right here. I'm going to go ahead and put some dielectric grease in it and plug this in. See if we can get a connection going. Oh yeah, that's bright. <laughs> Fog lights activated, baby. All right, now we know we have working fog lights. All we gotta do is get a valence. So check this out. Went on the old internet, found myself a valence that has the tow hooks for what we have and also fog light holes. <laughs> now all we gotta do is put in these fog lights that we also got on the internet. All right, we're gonna come underneath the truck right on the front bumper and you're gonna take your trim removal tool and you're gonna pop off those Christmas tree fasteners. And then you can go ahead and tuck up this trim panel right up next to these trans lines out of the way. Then we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and, you know what, I'll start over here. Then I'll remove, there's 12 of these little eight millimeter fasteners. They are secured by clip nuts. Just go ahead and Unscrew these, Oop, they come right out, and uh, there are 12 of them all along this rim. Just follow that across, taking all 12 out, and the valence should just drop right out. Once you take off all 12 fasteners, the lower valence just comes right out, 
All you gotta do next is just remove those two Christmas tree fasteners to separate your valence from the license plate bracket. All right, now we're just gonna remove all these clip nuts that are on the valence and put them on our new valence. And if your new valence came with this lower trim piece, you're gonna have to do the same thing. Take off this with the eight millimeter bolts, another 12 all around and pop off these clip nuts again and transfer them over to this piece. So we got one more to go. This stuff is easy. On a rust free desert truck, I love it. All right guys, here's where the magic happens. Gonna install my new fog lights. Now, I forgot to pick up new hardware to mount these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna borrow a couple clips and fasteners from the lower valance. I'll replace that later, but watch this. Right now, these clips are gonna serve a higher purpose. One right there, and the other right there. Now I'm just gonna line up these fog light brackets with these clips we just put on. Loop it up, rest it in place. There we go. Just drop this fastener right down from the top. Same thing with this side. We'll go ahead and we'll hand tighten this right here. And then when we put the valence on, we'll tighten up everything. This way we get the light squared up where we want it. All right, once we got this lower valence on nice and secured, we could go ahead and we can move the fog lights where we need them to be nice and flush up against the valance. Then we'll go ahead and tighten these down. That's gonna look great. Lower valance installed. Fog lights looking nice and tight. Just gonna put this little bottom piece of trim in. That lower trim piece, that air dam, that is in. Everything is looking good. Remind me to go to the hardware store, get a couple more clip nuts and fasteners, because we cannibalized to get the fog lights on. All right, let's take out the stock bulbs. Thank you. We'll punch in the Bosla. There we go. Clip this wire out of the way. Go ahead and put in bulb number two. There we go. All right, let's turn them on. All right, Dad, go for it. Hey, that is beautiful. Beautiful fog lights, beautiful new fog light valence. This is awesome. Now we got this headlight in. Now this was really easy. I just went ahead and fished my hand in there. Popped out the old bulb. You can see my fingers in there. Put in the new Bossel bulb. This one is gonna be a little more tricky. I think I'm gonna have to take off this coolant bottle. All right, if you remove these eight Little fasteners in here, you could remove this cover. And you got a eight millimeter fastener here, another one in there. You go ahead and take off this hose, unclip your air box, and you could jimmy jam this little coolant bottle to the side. Now we could get our hand in here to access this light bulb. It's a little more work than the passenger side, but you could still get access. Out with the old. Whew. All right, I'm just gonna prepare this Bossel bulb for installation. I'm gonna slide this little lock off. I'm gonna take this part off the bulb. Slide this on the Bossel bulb. And then reinstall this. There we go. Now we could lock this Bossel bulb in place. And before I do that, I get to plug it in. Because once it's down there, I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach. All right, let's bring this into where it needs to be. There we go. Got it. Now, if you look through your lens, you should see the Bosla bulb going vertical. That's what you want. You can achieve that by rotating the bulb. All right. All right, go ahead and put your coolant bottle back where it's supposed to be. Put on this little black cover and you can close your hood and enjoy your beautiful new Bosla bulbs. That is looking good. What do you think, Dad? 
You just turned a 21 year old truck into a new vehicle. It's gorgeous. <laughs> no more yellow lights in the daytime. That's right. Well, you just upgraded. Yeah, baby. Happy Father's Day to you, and happy Father's Day to you guys. That's it. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next project. Peace.